In today's video, I want to show you quickly how you can put together a website in a very, very short time. But before we get started, I'd like to remind you that if you buy Divi using my affiliate link, I'll give you access to my Divi Jumpstart course. This is a course that will teach you how to design professional looking websites with Divi. So here's the uh, layout we're going to design. So this is the about page. And this was designed uh, using the pre-made layouts. Here we have the services page. So I'm going to scroll through here. And all this can be customized at any point. Here we have the case study. So let me scroll down here. Again, as I mentioned, you can go in and change all these images. And then finally, we have our contact page. I'll be showing you step by step how to put this all together using Divi and the Divi pre-made layouts. Let's get started. All right, so we're going to start off with a brand new install of Divi. So all we have here is a basic header, basic footer. I haven't done any changes to this. So let's dive in now and start adding all our pages. So I'm going to come over here and uh, go to pages, click on add new. So the pages I'm going to add are pages that are going to be from our pre-made layout that we're going to be using. So this one here could be services. I'm going to click on uh, publish. The next page is going to be about us. So I'm gonna go back, click on add new, and let's call this about us, and then publish it. Okay, great, so now that I have my pages added in, the next step now is to go in and import our pre-made layout. So I'm just gonna hit refresh here so I make sure that all the pages have been uh, added to this. Next, I am now going to uh, click on enable visual builder. Now I'm going to come straight over here to choose pre-made layouts. I'm gonna go ahead and select that. So we are now greeted with so many layouts that we can choose from. So if we know exactly what we need to do, we can just go into the category itself. So if it's business, I will just uh, click here on business and this will narrow down all my um, pre-made templates to show me the ones that I'm looking for. So let's say I'm gonna go with this one right here. If I click here, it's going to show me the rest of the page. So you can see here we have blog, we have uh, contact services, we also have a landing page, case study, and so on. So let's say this is the one that we need to use. So I can now start adding all my information in. So this page here is the home page. So I'm going to start with the landing page. I'm going to go ahead and select that. And now I can now come over here and say, use this layout. Okay, great. I'm going to go ahead now and save. The next stage now is to add the about page. So I'm going to go back click on uh, preview so I can have a look at uh, this page here. So just like what we did before, I'm gonna click on enable visual builder, choose pre-made layout. So I'm just gonna look for that uh, layout one more time is this one here, the corporate one. So this is the about page. So I'm gonna go ahead and select about, use this layout, and then I'm going to save. So I'm going to continue doing this until I add all my pages that I have in my pre-made layout added on to the pages that I create on um, WordPress. So I'm now I'm going to go in and add the contact page and the services page. So I've gone ahead and imported all my designs to the pages that I created. The next step now is to create our menu. So to do that, we're gonna come over here to our dashboard and then we're gonna come all the way down to appearance and then click on menus. So what you wanna do is to create a menu called main menu. And then on the bottom here, you wanna make sure it's linked to primary menu. Now, once you've done that, in fact, over here, I have some pages I need to remove so I can show you how to uh, actually put this together properly. All right, so now all I have is just the home. So what you wanna do is to make sure you click on view all so you can see all your pages. So I'm gonna select contact, case study, contact, services. Yeah, I think these are the pages that I imported. So with those selected, I'm going to click on add to menu. And you can see now they're, uh, they're all added to the menu. The next step now is just to make sure that you rearrange these properly. So I think case study can come over here. So it's going to be home about our services, case study and contact. So with that all selected now, I can go ahead now and save my menu by clicking here on save menu. Okay, great. Now, if we take a look at our website, if I refresh this, we are now going to notice that our menu now is going to show right here on the top. And here it is, home, about us, services, case study, and contact. Okay, so that's looking great. But at the moment, we have this basic footer here and uh, basic header. 
So I have a quick tip for you. I have a header and footer template, which is only $7. Link to that is in the video description below. But if you're a lifetime member to funnels to income.com, this is absolutely free. So let's go ahead and install that. So what you need to do is to head over here to uh, Divi and then click on theme builder. Next, we're gonna click on portability right here at the top, click on import. And then I'm gonna click here to choose my file. So this is gonna open up my finder now and my DV header and footer is right here. So when you first uh, download it, it's going to be a zipped file, which looks like this. But when you unzip the file, it's going to look like this. So all you have to do is to double click that and you're going to have two files. We have the dark and the light version. So for this, I'm going to use the dark version. So I'm gonna double click on that. And then I'm going to go ahead and import DV theme builder templates. So this now is going to add a header and a footer to our design. So now you can see that we've added it. I'm going to hit save. So this is what we had, the basic header and footer from uh, Divi. And then when I scroll down here, this is the footer right here. So if I refresh, notice what happens. We now have a header and we also have a footer right here. All right, so what we're gonna do next is we're going to go through all these pages and I'm gonna show you how to go in and customize it. So let me just uh, save this page and exit the Visual Builder. We're almost done now. So I can now go to the home page, for example, and then start customizing this. I'm gonna click on Enable Visual Builder. So first things first, let's go in and uh, change uh, these colors because uh, perhaps we have our own colors that we have from our color palette. So I'm gonna click here on this gear icon to go into my section settings, go to background, and this is the background color. So I wanna choose my own color for this. So let's go with a really dark color here like that. Okay, I think I'm happy with that, I'm gonna save. Now, when it comes to the images, again, we can go in and start um, changing around these images so we can add our own. So let's go with this one, upload image, I'm gonna save that. Now, let's say I'm not a fan of this image here. I can just go ahead and delete it. So now the image that I have is this main one here. So we can move on now to the next part, which is this image right here. I can go in, change this image. So let's say I'm gonna go with this one here upload image and as you can see slowly slowly i'm starting now to go in and change all the um, content that i have on this site if you want to change the text all you have to do is to click on this gear icon and then you can go in and update this text so let's say we want to go in and uh, make this a heading i'm going to highlight all this uh, set this to heading three i'm going to save that now over here on the services, again, I can go in and make changes to this. So let's say I need to change the color of my icons. I wanna show you something really uh, cool here to help you speed up your design workflow. So let's say uh, this is my icon. In fact, you know what? I'm gonna leave the icon as it is. Or if you wanna change it, you can just come over here and change the icon like that. Now, when it comes to designing it, you can just click on this little icon here and change the color. So I'm gonna go with um, blue for my icon here. And I'm gonna right click and say, extend blurb styles. And I'm gonna choose throughout this section. And notice what happens. This color is now going to be updated across this section, saving me a lot of time when it comes to going in and customizing this. In fact, while I'm here, I might need to change the text as well. So for some reason it's set to default. I wanna set this to pop-ins. I'm gonna go ahead and select that and increase the size as well from uh, that to about 14. Right click, extend blurb styles. So I'm gonna do what I did before across this section. Now look at that, everything now has been updated and I can go ahead and save. Now I noticed that we have a button here which has a color that uh, needs changing. So I can, again, I'm gonna go in here, go to design button and I'm gonna change the color of the button to that, okay, so that's looking much better. I'm gonna save. So you can see quickly, I was able to go in and start customizing our pre-made layout to match with whatever site that I'm creating. This saves you a lot of time and we have all our pages all set in here. Now I've only gone in and did the first um, page, but if there's any information you don't need, just go ahead and delete it and delete the whole section like that. In fact, I may not need this 
and I don't need that as well. So you can see here quickly, I was able to go in and uh, put together a page very, very fast. So if you want to create a page or some pages for a client, this is the quickest way to do this. Go into your pre-made layouts, uh, choose the layout you want, and then just create all the pages. And then once you've created all the pages, you can just import all the content and then change the text and the images. In cases where you want to uh, work really fast and uh, replace or change uh, any aspect of the design, just extend the styles across the whole page or even uh, across the whole section. This will save you a lot of time. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching. Until next time, take care and I'll see you soon.